And welcome back, this is Bobby Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I am joined, as always, by Loki and his old counterpart, old married couple counterpart, Nisa. Look at them just staring at each other. When you last left off, we were in the Marsh Cave, and I was being a little bit hasty in, in search of this statue, uh, and I missed quite a few treasure chests along the way. I will be going back to get those, but first, let us complete the dungeon by going down here. Down here, we do find a very special item. We find this this mirror. It gives off a strange light. Let's take it back and show it to Mrs. Isabella. And we receive the moon mirror. Why would we need to show it to Mrs. Isabella? What is it? It's boss time. We're up against the Hydra. The Hydra here has two heads, as you can clearly see. There we go. Got a good shot in there. Let's go for a power up using Salamander. Uh, I'm going to be using the Flail for this fight because, as you can see, this is kind of a ranged fight. I'm trying to find out where these guys are going to show up. God. Uh, so if you're trying to use the sword or the the uh, the staff, things can get quite complicated. Damn it! Stop hitting me. At least I didn't get poisoned. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, presto veggies with me. If I did, this would be the perfect opportunity to, to use those. Damn it, I got bit again. It doesn't hurt that much when you get bit, actually. Ah, damn it, stop biting me. No, Misa, she might not make it. Damn it, this guy is hard to hit. He really is sometimes. There we go. Got a few shots in there, which is why I'm using the flail. The bow is just too slow, to be honest with you. And this is kind of a long fight as it is. There we go. Getting a few shots off. Let's get me my let's get me my power up. Uh oh. Misa, you gonna be okay? Yeah, give me some of that healing too. Damn it! S stop moving your damn heads! It's making it very hard for me to hit you, Hydra! He's just trying to taunt me off screen. We have to, like, dance around the cliff, I swear. Ah, let's avoid that, because that could poison me, which is bad. And this fight is particularly bad, uh, because... Ah, damn it. As you can see, it takes off four at a time. And since I only have 95 health, that will quickly add up. Are you going to heal? I'm trying to hang around me so that she'll heal me. There we go. Damn it, how do I keep missing this guy? Ah, oh, no, he launched a bubble. Damn it. Get, yes. There. No. Damn, I get hit hard. But down goes the Hydra. In a grand explosion because he got hit with a flail. It totally makes sense. Oh, so another spirit. It's the water spirit. The poor thing. It's grown weak from the marsh's poison. Maybe if we give it water, it'll come back to life. Apparently, we just had water on hand. And we've received Undyne, a water spirit. I've never been sure if that's Undyne or Undine. I've always gone with Undyne. Isn't there some clean water near Scaly Lair? Probably. That's right. Let's find a clean spring around there. So now that we have Undyne in tow, we are free to leave. I'm going to use this save point once again because that is a tough fight. Okay, I think we are ready to head back and get all the treasure chests that I missed. There were quite a few. I will also be cutting out uh, most random fights uh, from now on uh, if I do fight them. If not, if I just run past them like I did there, uh, then there's really no need for me to, uh, to try to cut that out. I already grabbed that treasure chest there. Uh, Misa sucks by herself. Don't leave her by herself. She could die, to be honest with you. So you want to avoid that at all costs. So let's head out of here. And now we need to head down here. Uh, there's, once again, uh, the treasure chest was here. I picked it up before. 
So let us go up here, and I missed this treasure chest. Very important one right here with an oblong C. So not that important, but it is there nonetheless. Now let's continue heading back pretty much the way that I entered the cave. And yes, you can actually go down here. And this will lead you to two more treasure chests that I missed. Very, very sloppy of me to have missed these. I do apologize. All right. Um, yeah, let me just sneak past you guys and pick up my angel grail. And then I can head back. Misa is dying, but that's okay. Kind of. Uh, let's head south here. Now south here, uh, there are a few things that I can avoid, but they will ultimately lead me to the long seed down here. Now, this guy is damn near killing Misa, so let's try to damage him just a little bit there. There we go. God, Misa, look at that. Just trying to avoid fights, and she's damn near dead. This is, uh, this is why I don't level up. By, uh, my other party members to be honest with you because it's just not worth it and last one is this one over here that I missed how I couldn't figure that one out I don't I don't know and look at that Misa died that's what it looks like when she dies and this guy is clearly in my way just go why <laughs> why don't you die there we go Alright, I just needed to get him out of my way. Now I am free to move on and leave this place. Which is right out through here. Now I also missed some chests down here toward the scaly lair. So, let us pick those up as well. This, I don't think... It, wait, this is the way... That, that is not a way. Okay, I, I lost my bearings for a second there, but now I know where I am. We need to head down through this screen here. This is where I thought I was before. And here we can do a quick double jump, which will lead us to the Minos Bronze. Now these guys are in my way, so I will be taking them out. Alright, now that they're out of the way, let's move on. Just went right past them. Let's try to revive the water spirit here. Here's some water. <laughs> and that Misa is back to life. Hooray. We just need to head a little bit north here. And we found the water spirit. Thought it was a gonna. Thanks for saving me. My name is Undyne. I'm a girl and proud of it. Is that why you're showing off your... Whatever. I hope you don't mind if I shower you with thanks. My deepest gratitude. What, why are you saying deep like that? And that was it, but we have made it to the next goddess statue, which I will need to use, uh, because Misa didn't, well, she didn't quite make it the whole way. Okay, so I have saved once again. We do have something new to show off in Pope Boy's Notebook. We have another new memo. We have... Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Water magic! There we go. Uh, support uh, when you use... Uh, undone as a support. It floats you inside a bubble. Only monsters with sight can attack you, so it's a defensive spell. And then if you attack with Undyne, you inflict water damage and sometimes causes the snowman status. I do like the snowman status. It's quite funny, and I will show that off eventually. Uh, well, it might be shown on me first. Uh, when we look at... Where is it? There we go. Spirits. She is here. There we go. She's. It costs 3 MP and 6 MP, just like Salamander. But I'm going to be sticking with Salamander for now, uh, because everything around here is pretty much strong against Undyne, so I won't be using her very often here. Now, we have pretty much two options of where we can go. One really isn't what you're supposed to do, and of course that's the one that I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, once again, I'm just going to, uh, instead of fighting them on screen, I'm just going to, to stop fighting on screen for the most part, especially when we've already been in these places. I'll just run right past them. Uh, we need to go back to Vinket Hall, because we were told by Misa to show the moon mirror to Isabella. 
So I am going to take care of that. And of course it is only open at night. Luckily I showed up right at night, it looks like. So the gate is open. Yeah, let's go back in here after we escaped. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Isabella, we picked up a moon mirror. Aren't you happy for me? Oh, both of you made it safely. Miss Isabella, do you know what this is? Why, it's the moon mirror. Okay, the moon mirror. It's a magic mirror that sees into the hearts of humans. I heard it's from the dowry of a Mavol princess. A mirror that sees into human hearts. You kids, is there any chance you'd let me have it? You want it? That's fine with us. Whew, I was just thinking of something stupid. What? Pardon me, I lost my head. Relying on such things, I have no right to belittle humans. Miss Isabella. You two keep the moon mare. It might come in handy sometime. And that's pretty much it. This is completely optional. You don't have to go back to talk to her. Um, but there's a scene there when you do, and it's weird and kind of awkward, but it's, it's there. So let's move on. We need to head back uh, pretty much the way that we came. Uh, we need to go back to uh, the cave that we had seen earlier, the cave uh, to Wendell. Because even though, uh, well, the Count hasn't opened it fully, uh, he has opened, uh, he has opened it enough for us to get through it, should we use our new water spirit. So let's jump up here, and I believe, hmm. uh-oh, what are you doing? Is there a way for me to get down there? I don't think there is. Just making sure. No, there isn't. Uh, so we need to put on Undyne as a spirit. Now we can... Ow. Now we can cast her. Ow, it's too far away. There we go. And down it goes. And for our hard work, we get animal bones. Hooray. Let's get off of here. There we go. Apparently I had to find the right spot in order to do that. But now that we have a... Uh, wow. New enemies. I was about to say, now that we have a new spot, I was going to level up here, but let me grab this treasure chest that's hiding right there for a gummy frog. Very, very nice. Let me take out these enemies. Because these are new. Damn it. They are water enemies. Uh, so, once again, strong against uh, water. If you saw, they shot water at me. Those heathens. I'm going to keep using the flail. I like its distance, to be honest with you. I do like that. There's got to be another one. Yes, there it is. And there's also a treasure chest up here with Minos Bronze in it. All right, can I hit him from up here? That'd be awesome. Yes. And I got to level up. Hooray. So let's take care of that. Once again, I'm going to be putting my point in to random. Oh, got my first intelligence point. Not that it's really going to be that worthwhile. Um, but I got one in power as well. Very, very nice. Let's head out of here. And we've made it to the Wendell Coast. And we have more new enemies this week. We have a little crab guy here hanging out with Sergeant McDuck. Actually, his name is Duck GI, but still, he is Drill Sergeant Duck. Get down here so I can hit you. Down it goes. Didn't even drop anything. God. And down here instead of enemies we have a Nicolo once again. Does he have anything I can afford? I don't honestly remember. Um, so yeah, I've probably gone over this before. Chocolate lumps uh, restore a bit of MP and then presto veggies carry a poison. Um, you might want to keep one in, in stock for that last fight that we were in, but eh, I felt fine without it. Uh, mixed meat, spicy meat, I have no, no purpose of those meats right now. Uh, but we do have some new items that I should be going over, uh, including that gummy frog that we saw. It says your death blow gauge to max, which is okay, I guess, if you desperately need a death blow, but I don't see why you would. Actually, no, there is one more thing that I want to see. I believe it would be under... Not meat. Um, 
Now, other items. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking at the raw materials. Here we uh, not only have the cotton and the bronze, but now we have the animal bone and the oak wood. Uh, we'll go over what raw materials are for a little bit later, uh, just like the seeds. Um, we will need a little bit of further advancement in the plot before we can go over that kind of stuff. And no new enemies.